What up campers? This is Jordan from Why We Work and this week's episode is all about super simple camp food. So uh, if this is your first time joining us, we make weekly videos about appreciating life in our hybrid travel trailer. So uh, take a minute and consider subscribing and we'll show you seven awesome camp cooking ideas that you guys can do next time you hit the road. Yum, yum. First meal camping, first night in, Friday night. So we are doing some burgers, some homemade burgers, um, which are half beef and half lamb. I ground it up some leg of lamb and some chuck, beef chuck. Depending on the size of your grinder, you cut up the meat in strips. Important to freeze your grinder components, not the actual electrical components, but um, mine aren't metal, so freeze them to keep them nice and cold. Heat them through, mix. We did about 50 50, about a pound of each. Made six burgers out of two pounds of meat. Or shake them, stuck them in the freezer. Now they are frozen patties, which I then put in bags. I normally would vacuum seal this, but since I did that this, this week and I know we were eating them on Friday, I just shoved them in the Ziploc, shoved them in the freezer. There's no binders, no fillers, no seasonings on them whatsoever. We like doing those on the grill. Saturday morning, we got meal number two. We're doing some pigs in a blanket today. We're doing two versions, one with sausage and one with ham. Start with some crescent rolls. You can do these or the grands, pillsbury's, whatever you have. But what we do is we open it up. We start unrolling the crescents. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill these bake these so we put some nice melty American cheese that I just split in two. You take these pre-cooked sausages you can do the links or the patties the patties happen to be what we had at home so we just break it into pieces into strips and then we roll them and we'll bake them per the directions at 350 for about 10 minutes. We realize that our oven has a hot spot in the back, so we'll be flipping these a couple times just to move them around to make sure we don't burn them. Camp cooking meal number three. So we are doing pulled pork um, that we had actually made in the instant pot at home. This is only about a pound, two pounds of ready-made pulled pork ready to go. We had already had barbecue sauce on it. We um, put the pulled pork in the instant pot. You can use pork shoulder or you can use cushion meat, um, which is about the same price as the shoulder meat. Comes in like smaller chunks than the shoulder and is actually uh, without a bone. So it works out a little bit cheaper when we figure out the shoulder has the bone in. Then what we do is we put some spice blend on it. This is Jordan's homemade rub, um, which is an awesome rub to go in everything. We put it in our instant pot after we rubbed it all up. Cut about this much um, apple juice at the bottom and a, a few tablespoons of liquid smoke. Put it on manual, manual on high pressure for about 75 to 85 minutes, depending how full the pot is and how many pieces you're using. Comes out, it falls off the bone, there's juices in there. We scoop those, all that out, including the juices, and then added some barbecue sauce and that's that. And then you put it in a bag, freeze it, 
and throw it in your freezer, your fridge on the way out to the campsite. And that way when you're uh, unhooked from chore power, then your fridge doesn't your warm fridge, up. It your helps. fridge stays cold, cools down the rest of the fridge, and it's not overworking trying to freeze something that's not already frozen. What I'm doing now is I'm actually making a coleslaw dressing, which was just mayonnaise and some milk um, and some sugar. And so I'm just mixing it together to, to be a good consistency and we'll mix in the bag coleslaw. That way your coleslaw doesn't go soggy sitting in your fridge for a couple of days. If you're keeping the track. Math isn't important. We are also making what is known as a poiki in South Africa, which what is it? You put in a cast iron pot on the fire. Poiki normally is some sort of stewy meat in the cast iron with some sort of a liquid put, put with it, and or vegetables or not, potatoes or not. Growing up, everyone called it a fridge cleaning poiki, which is put in it what you feel like it. And tonight we are having some very nice all natural lean beef stew meat in the poiki, which we'll be doing with, as far as I've heard, some red wine and some cornbread. And there shall be sides of vegetables. And that is meal number four. This is like a non-traditional, traditional South African meal. That's right. Yeah. We're chopping up some onions and some garlic. That's gonna go um, into the poiki after the meat is all ready, a little bit browned. We're gonna chuck in the onions first, let them go for a little bit, and then we're gonna pour in some of the garlic, or we're gonna chuck in the garlic, let that add it a little bit before we add our liquids. That special little side piece for meal number four, bacon wrapped around green beans. This is what makes it authentic, people. This is the stuff you're not gonna find in that book. It's gotta be box wine. Look at that. Yum, people. You don't find that in your camping cookbook. Freaking poiki. This is meal. We are breakfast on a Sunday. Normally it would be a checkout day, but since it's a nice long weekend, we get to show you guys some extra meals. Today is going to be biscuits and sausage gravy, and we'll be making some scrambled eggs with it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I pre, I'm starting to preheat the oven for the biscuits. So I'm gonna turn on the stove. We're gonna brown the um, breakfast sausage that I, it's, it's homegrown um, breakfast sausage, or home ground breakfast sausage, I should say. And then we're gonna pop the biscuits in the oven, and then we're gonna make the sausage gravy, finish up the sausage gravy, and then right at the end we're gonna do the eggs. So here we go. And as camp food tends to go, super not healthy. But the kids will eat it. Kids will eat it. creamy by adding some half and half since I used um, flax milk and not a regular milk. Ooh, it's bright out here. 
Meal number six is a beef brisket smoked on the Weber using the snake method. So we're gonna go ahead and get our snake set up right now and then we're going to let this guy cook all day long. So we're gonna do a row, a ring of coals around the outside, two wide and stack too high. And then we're gonna light the fuse and let the snake cook down for about eight hours. So let's start that snake. Yeah, so that's the snake. We're gonna go get the meat ready and then get this puppy lit up. All right, now we prepare the meat. So we're gonna start by cutting off all this fat. So yeah, theoretically we just light the fuse on this side and then throw the meat on, put the wood chips and stuff in and uh, let her do her thing. So we got our brisket on. Now we wait about 10, 12 hours. I might peek in there in three or four just to make sure. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed. All right, we're about five hours in. Let's see what the snake looks like. Oh, she's snaking. We've got about almost halfway on that snake. The meat seems like it's getting some color. All right, we're looking pretty good. Cover it. We'll see you in five hours. Ten and a half hours later, the brisket <laughs> is ready to roll. We're gonna cut into this delicious piece of meat. All right, meal number seven, breakfast burritos. We're starting by putting the sausage yeah. in the pan and getting it nice and brown. We have 12 chickens at home, so we're producing more eggs than we could possibly eat. And so, breakfast burritos on a Sunday, super quick, cook them outside so we don't make a mess on the trailer. Contributes towards the pack down, and they're delicious. So Finished product, sausage, eggs, tortillas, boom. Thank you. The five minute meal that you can grub on and then get back to packing up. Yeah, those are seven awesome camp cooking meals that you guys can give a try. As you can see, it's nothing fancy, but they're all super bomb food, especially for the kids and uh, pretty fun to make too. So uh, we hope you guys like these. Let us know in the comments what you think about our camp meals and if there's anything we should be having on our radar for our next trip out there too. But hey, if you like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next adventure.